Hi everyone, I'm Matt. In today's world, we have many challenges on how social media affects our mental health, particularly when it comes to depression. Today, almost everyone of all ages use some type of social media. Many people use different platforms for personal and work purposes. Posts are created in hopes of getting positive reactions through feedback and likes. As we go on, we'll explore more on the mental health issues of depression that social media can cause. Social media is a gamble. Did you know that 69% of adults and 81% of teens use social media? In the article, The Social Dilemma, Social Media and Your Mental Health by McLeanHospital.org, discuss that social media is a lot like gambling. The idea of potential future reward in forms of likes or positive feedbacks keeps people coming back. When we get those positive feedbacks, our brain releases dopamine, which is a chemical that makes us feel good. When we get negative feedback, the opposite happens and we become depressed. Also, children are especially more susceptible to these feelings. The earlier teens use social media, the greater impact that platforms have on their mental health. This can lead to feelings of loneliness and missing out. For example, was there ever a time when you could not go somewhere with your friends and they posted pictures of the good time they're having? How to make you feel? I'm sure most of us were answered that we were a little jealous, sad, or we felt left out. Unrealistic expectations. Other ways social media can cause depression is through the use of filters that make people look better. Many people use filters on the pictures that they post to make themselves look better. They would whiten their teeth, fix blemishes, and overall make themselves look sexier. This could cause the viewer to feel insecure about their own appearances because when they look in the mirror, there are no filters. The person making the post has their own insecurities because they felt the need to add filters for the pictures to get them more likes. Snapchat is a great example of a social media outlet which offers many filters. An interesting fact is that there has been an increase in people wanting to have plastic surgery so they could look like the filtered pictures from Instagram or Snapchat they post. Here's a video by a YouTuber Alethea M with her favorite Snapchat filters. How long we spend on social media. Why do we check social media so often? Many of us feel like we needed to be connected 24 seven so that we will not miss out on anything. I rarely see anyone without their phones nowadays. In the article, is social media creating anxiety and depression by Amani Campbell it is explained that a research team from the University of Pittsburgh found that those who check their social media frequently were 2.7 times likely to be depressed compared to those who checked it less often. Again, the reason for this is having the feeling of being left out. I'm sure you know someone that needs to be the first to find out something and they need to retweet or repost to be the first one. They get anxious just waiting for their first response and then from all the feedback they would get afterwards. Negative comments and their effects. On May 3rd, 2021, Fox aired an episode of the, sh of the show 911 Lone Star. One of the subplots in this episode was about a firefighter who has a large following on Instagram. She posts under the username Firefox. She posts about her rescues, and this led to her becoming a micro celebrity. In this particular episode, one of her attempts to rescues fails, and her victim dies. Or the victim does, I'm sorry. She starts receiving negative comments to her Instagram account. This makes her feel very depressed and starts to question her motives about why she became a firefighter in the first place. Even though it was not her fault, she starts to second guess herself. This is a perfect example on how social media can cause or worsen a person's feeling of depression. So let's take a look at some of the videos to see how this affected her. Are you Firefox? Guilty. Oh my god, you guys, she's like the Serena Williams of firefighters. 
Say something to my followers. 9,000 are watching. Please. Uh, keep calm, carry on, and feel free to like me on Insta. Anyways, going down. Is she not the coolest? Are you going viral again or something? Yeah, Marge, what's wrong? People are being really mean. She should change her name from Firefox to Glory Hawk. Some guy just called me Thirsty FD. The hell's that? I don't know, but I keep getting tagged in this video. Who's that? The girl from the truck. Hey, it's McKenna. A lot of you probably heard I lost the love of my life. I didn't think this week could get any worse. But it did. Because I just found out while Brady and I were hanging 100 feet off the ground. Terrified. The firefighter who was supposed to save us was taking her sweet time flexing for the camera. Hey, Firefox, you guys. Keep calm, carry on, and feel free to like me on Insta. Anyways, going down. Firefox, you should be ashamed of yourself. You care more about likes than people's lives. Going down? Hilarious. Well, I hope everyone who sees this video makes sure you go down. Because it's what you deserve. Houston Invitational seems they're leaning towards uninviting us from the tournament. This last minute? Why? Uh, who knows? Probably because they're scared we're gonna mop the floor with them again like we did last year. It's gonna be, isn't it? They don't want Firefox there? Given everything that's happened, they feel like it would be insensitive to the woman who lost her husband for you to compete. That's ridiculous. Of course it is. Which is why we're withdrawing. I'm the captain of this team. Nobody tells me who can lace up. Firefox, you, you should be ashamed of yourself. Yo, yo, be, 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 be ashamed of yourself. You care more about likes than people's lives. Don't go down. Firefox, you go down, 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 down. Great. New remix only has like 3 million likes so far. Marge, you gotta stop watching that stuff before you give yourself a rage induced aneurysm or something. I'm not even angry. Last night I was laying in bed and it hit me. What if she's right? Right about what? That I'm a showboat, and deep down, all I really care about is the likes. Come on, step off the ledge. Man, that's crazy talk. Is it? Because I never miss a chance to get in the limelight. There's nothing wrong with enjoying a little love from the fans. It doesn't make you a bad person or a bad firefighter. What if the only reason I chose this career was because I knew it would be a great way to get attention? And it has been. I mean, how else would I be getting DMs from Cardi B? You don't get DMs from Cardi B. You get DMs from Cardi B? Yeah. Every now and then for the last couple of years. Okay. Come on, listen to me. I am that person. Let me ask you something. If you could trade places with McKenna's husband so that you went down and he lives, would you do it? In that heartbeat. That is who you are. Right? And you respond to every call the same way, whether there's a camera around or not. I also want to get down there. Let's do it. Trolling. A troll is someone that hides behind their computer and intentionally makes aggressive and hurtful posts with the intent of hurting other people. This is important to talk about because there are many trolls on social media. During the pandemic, some people had nothing better to do than to troll people's social media accounts. In the article, psychology profiles of online trolls show high self-esteem and a penchant of sadism by Avita March. She claims trolling could cause a significant harm and distress. Is associated with psychological effects, including disruptive sleep, lower self-esteem, depression, self-harm, and in some cases, suicide. It is extremely scary that people do not care how their words, either written or verbally, could deeply hurt another person. Some trolls make comments to try to be funny, while some want to hurt someone. I'm sure we all know someone that finds it funny to comment on other, another's post, but they do not consider the possibility that it might hurt that person. It is simple human courtesy to be mindful of our actions towards other people. To go a little further, celebrities are particularly vulnerable to trolling as well. Celebrities get attacked on social media. Celebrities use social media platforms for many reasons, whether it be to talk about their lives, promote new endeavor, or they're activists on a cause that is important to them. Since they are public figures, there are people that feel that they have the right to express their opinions and they do not have, the, and they do have that right not to attack them. Everyone has the right to express their views, but to abuse them is completely wrong. 
In the article, 18 Celebrities Who Have Quit Social Media and Why by Madison Vanderberg explained an example of Pete Davidson, who deleted his Instagram in 2018 after people voiced negative opinions about his whirlwind romance and engagement to Ariana Grande, and he could not handle the comments of angry fans. Celebrities also get trashed on their performances by critics that get put on all social media platforms. In the article, Did I Really Stink? How Actors Cope With Critical Mauling by Laura Barnett talked about how actors respond to critics. She said that actress Mira Sile ignores her critics because she remembers all the bad comments word by word and forgets about any of the good ones. This happens to many celebrities, but many of them do not ignore it and let it eat them up on the inside. This leads to more celebrities closing or taking time off social media to avoid the feeling of depression that they get by reading negative comments and question their work. In conclusion, the main takeaway points is that social media is a double-edged sword. It can make you feel good if you get positive feedback, but it could also cause or worsen feelings of depression through negative comments, trolling, and unrealistic expectations about ourselves. Every day we use social media platforms to get ourselves noticed and use posts to try to gain self-esteem in the forms of likes. But we must remember when we take the chance and put ourselves out in the public, the outcome might not always be what we expect it to be. We must be prepared for all the possible outcomes. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed my presentation and these are the references that I used in my presentation.